Alright guys, how's it going? So this is a new segment for the channel and it's called Software Sunday, how imaginative. Every single Sunday I'm going to review different types of software. Generally they're ones that pique my interest so hopefully they'll catch your attention as well. We kind of work in the same industry so tools like this are always pretty cool. And there is no real correlation with Blender. It really is things I find interesting. And I'm going to kick this off with Beatbox. Now I believe Gamer from Scratch actually covered this last week. If you're into your chip tunes or your 8-bit retro sound, Beatbox is it's the tool for you, let's put it this way. Now I'm fully aware this is a web application so it's not really software, but it's pretty fully fledged. And what you essentially get here is a scale, so you can quickly knock out some music. Me and the kid was playing around with it today and it's pretty cool. So you can create different layers, you hit play, and you get something like this. Now when it comes to different types of instruments, there's a whole collection. You've obviously got things like chip wave, pulse wave, FM, spectrum, and then you have your usual instruments like an organ. And if you've got any music talent like myself, you can make some really horrible tunes. But some of the people on Twitter are absolutely fantastic, and it just goes to show how good this application actually is, so check this one out. Now the reason this actually did pique my interest is, I would like to develop a 2D game, so I'm going to need music somewhere down the line, and I really do like this retro 8-bit, 16-bit kind of chip tune sound, so Beatbox is there for you. Now, there is a few other options, you can export out your music as well, so I think it supports WAV file, MP3 files, and the URL essentially acts like your file, so you can actually go back to it at any point, and it obviously has things like reverb, you can change the speed of the rhythm, you can change the keys, it really is a nice piece of software, even though it is in a web browser. Now the next one up is not software, but I quite like it to be honest, and it's called Two Colour Combinations. Now maybe you're a designer or maybe you're just making a logo or maybe you're even just doing something on a website. Two colour combinations is excellent. Essentially gives you 164 different types of how colours can actually complement each other. So for example this kind of grey and pink is quite nice to be honest and it gives you a kind of idea how font and colours actually work well together. So I know it's not software but I did find it pretty attractive to be honest and that's called two colour combinations. Remember all the links in the description down below. And we were on the subject of music, a friend gave me a few suggestions. This is an online sequencer. Now, I'm not a big musician. I can play Pink Floyd and the guitar, that's about it. But if you're into music, well, I suppose if you're into music you would use a professional application and not a web-based application. But if you're in a bit of a jam, oh, excuse the pun, you can obviously do things like this. And then you hit play. Yeah, I don't think Mozart's got anything to worry about. And Chrome also have their own version and it's called the Chrome Music Lab. Now this one's pretty cool. I mean, I made that up in a couple of seconds, but you can also use the microphone to kind of set the pitch. So obviously I've got a kind of strange accent, but it's pretty deep. So when I was trying to do hello, yeah, it works like that. So that's my career over in one video. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do, take care.